Thank you very much, L225. Um, so as we usually do, um, we will allocate um, a class assistant who will basically um, handle the uh, microphone. So they will um, allocate the microphone to um, whoever is going to be reciting. So um, this time, if I make... Um, look, L2... Three, um, L two three five. Um, if you'd like to be the class assistant today, so I'll make you the co-host, um, and then you'll be able to control um, everyone else's microphones. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, you haven't been co-host before, have you? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. So all I need you to do is, um, when I ask for somebody to recite, if you can just find someone from the list um, and then unmute their microphone. Um, and once they're finished, just mute it again. Um, and that's basically it, really. Okay? Okay. Okay, Jazakallah. I will. Jazakallah. Um, so that is L235, who is our class assistant today. Um, okay, so we are going to be looking at, um, again, a different um, bus which we're focusing on in today's lesson. Um, so let's go to the relevant verse. So today we're looking at um, chapter 10, verse 58, which is uh, Surah Yunus. Um, and it's not too long of a verse. Um, you can see the Arabic in front of you here, which is what we'll be studying today. Um, and let's go to the next one, just so we can go through our translation. So our translation is, O mankind, there has indeed come to you an exhortation from your Lord and a cure for whatever disease there is in the hearts and a guidance and a mercy to the believers. So again, an important surah, um, uh, sorry, an important verse for us to consider, um, as were our previous verses as well. So um, this time uh, we will do it slightly differently. So um, instead of me explaining the rules in, uh, in the Arabic, um, I will select a few of you or the class assistant will select a few of you to um, explain what is going on uh, in the various parts of the verse. Um, just for the benefit of L235, um, I think it's L222. So L222 and also, um, let's have a look, L229. Um, if you make sure that you don't select either of those, um, uh, when I ask for someone to recite. So L222 and L229, if you can just write down those two IDs um, to not select today. Um, okay, so let's go to um, our uh, Holy Quran. So this time we'll be working from a slightly different screen, um, just so we can get used to um, analyzing it in the actual um, Holy Quran. So um, I'll start off from the beginning and then from about here, I'll ask um, somebody else to have a go at um, analyzing the verse. Um, we've broken it up into three parts. So the first part is going to end over here, um, the second part over here, and then this is going to be our final part at the end. So we'll start off with this long um, first line over here. Um, so beginning from the very start, we have got Ya, um, and we have got a Madde uh, Sagir, um, which we also call uh, um, and we would prolong that for um, between three to five seconds um, and that is going to be slightly different to this mud over here which is Madde Kabir and we call this Madde Muttasil and this can be between four to six seconds so three to five seconds and four to six seconds um, so that is the beginning of our verse um, and then we are joining this alif over here, 
which carries fatha with the ya mushaddad over here. Um, and we know by now that with our shadda letters, we need to give that extra emphasis um, to uh, what we're reciting. So this will be ya ayyu, a lot more emphasis on the ya because of the shadda. Um, and then following that, we are joining the ha with the nun mushaddad over here. And again, we know by now that nun mushaddad and mim mushaddad especially need a lot of stress um, because of the shadda. Um, and we also try to produce a nasal sound, a strong nasal sound there. Um, let me just reconnect my microphone because I think I have some issues. Um, is the sound any better? Could you raise your hands just to um, let me know if you can hear me okay? Let me just unmute. Okay. Anyone else can hear me okay? Let me just unmute a few of you. Um, L229, is the sound okay for you? L229, are you there? Try someone else. L232. Assalamualaikum. L232, is the sound okay for you? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, perfect. That's great. Exactly. Okay, so it might be um, just an issue for some people. So what you could potentially do is if you sign out and then sign in again, maybe that will make a difference with the sound. Um, but I think the majority are saying that it's okay. Um, okay, so let's continue. Uh, so as I was saying, we have non mushaddad and we want to produce a strong nasal sound and also... Um, we want to put stress on that letter because of the shadda on the noon. So this will be ya ayyuhannasu. We also want to prolong over here because this is followed by an alif madda. So this is our basic two second elongation. Ya ayyuhannasu. Two seconds over that. Um, so what I'll do now is if I can ask L235. Um, if you first of all unmute yourself and then you can select someone from the list who isn't L222 or L229 um, and ask them to uh, analyze the verse just up until here. Okay, so L235, you're unmuted yeah. now. Yep. So, where is the list I need to select? Um, can you see uh, a box at the bottom that says participants? Um, participants. Not at the bottom. That's okay. If you can't see it, that's not a problem. Um, let me try somebody else. Let's have... Um, do, but does anyone want to volunteer to have a go at being um, uh, managing the microphone? Okay, let's have L218. Asana from L218. Are you okay to manage the microphone in today's lesson? Yes. Okay, brilliant. So I've now made you co host. So all you have to do is um, select somebody for. Um, the microphone basically when I ask someone to recite, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, one thing that you might find easier if you want to search for a particular ID, there's a search box at the top, so you can just okay. type in the ID that you're looking for, okay? Okay, brilliant. So, um, okay, L218, that's fine. Um, so L218, if you could please find someone for recitation, if it helps, you can pick someone that's already got their hand up. Um, and also if you could announce who you've selected as well, just so I know. So we've got, um, okay, we've got L2, uh, L217, Aslam Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. So would you like to have a go at um, explaining to us what's going on in this um, middle part of uh, this line? Yeah, okay, I, I'll try. 
first of all qaf is tick uh, letter uh, we will and then uh, there is tal with skun which is kalkula and we will vibrate it qad uh, next uh, there is a mad on ja and uh, we will uh, prolong it for 5 second mm -hmm. ja next uh, we will uh, differentiate between hamza and ain we will not de do the ain sound ja at at kum and then there is ja at kum mau uh, because there is um, another meme, Mushaddad, mm -hmm. then we will uh, 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 it. We will merge it, I think. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, yeah. And what yeah. Um, what do we need to remember when we are, um, when we come? Uh, meme, to yeah, meme Mushaddad, and uh, we will make uh, her mad, uh, gunna, uh, gunna, nasal sound. Mm -hmm. Ja at kum mau. And after that, there is a uh, lean. Mm -hmm. letter uh, voweling we will uh, stretch it for two seconds uh, yeah. 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 that's fine jazakallah thank you very much that was really well explained jazakallah lt17 um let's give the mic um now to somebody else um okay let's have um l218 would you like to um unmute somebody else so we've had l217 mm. already L two two one. Okay, that's fine. Assalamualaikum. L two two one. Um, so would you like to carry on? So we got up to here with the wow lean. Um, would you like to explain the the, la the latter part of this line? Okay, I try. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know <laughs> the rule, but I try. Ein um, is a tum min. Here is tanween, and uh, um, we have here uh, mi mushaddad. And uh, um, I think uh, um, for two seconds, we prolong it two seconds. Tum mirabi kum. Excellent. Could you explain why you haven't read the noon sakin in the middle over here? Uh, because uh, I think the Mishaddat is stronger than uh, Noon Saki. Um, yes, yeah, so we're basically, this is, um, we are, this is what we call um, complete assimilation. So we are not going to hear the Noon Saki, so we join it directly. Um, yes, yeah. this yeah. but, uh, yes, but uh, um, uh, we are uh, saying Noon, Noon Gunna, Half Noon. No, we're not saying this at all. So with Ram Mushaddad, oh, uh, we're not mir, to... mir Rabikum. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, L221. Again, that was really well explained. Um, what I'll do is I will go back to our initial slide. Um, and we've just got the rules which come up um, listed in order, uh, just as a sort of summary. So we have, um, at the beginning, as we said, we have Madhis uh, Madhis um, which is the shorter uh, mud, um, which we also call mud the munfasil, um, detached elongation. Um, you can read about the explanations of these rules further in the Tahseen al Quran book, which um, hopefully most of you have come across. Um, so that is detached elongation, mud the munfasil. Following that, we said we've got ya mushaddad over here. Um, and then we are joining again to non mushaddad over here. So we, uh, in all those places, we remember that we want to put extra stress, um, and particularly with non mushaddad, we want to produce that hunna sound. Um, alif madda, we had two seconds. We had dal over here, which is a qalqala letter. If you remember, um, our qalqala letters are um, five in total, which are qaf, ta. Bajim and Dal, and when they carry the school, we will vibrate those letters either in the middle or at the end of the word. Um, and then we have uh, Madhi Kabir or Madhi Muttasil, which is um, sort of about five to six seconds. Um, again, rightly pointed out that we don't want to confuse this Hamza with Ain. So this is a distinct sound, which is different to this one over here. So this is simple at ja at kum, and this is mawizatun. So rain is uh, takes a lot more effort to produce from your throat. Um, 
we had again over here, me and Mushaddad, uh, two second Ghana. So, as mentioned, this is a type of um, joining, a type of idgham. Um, and uh, next, we have got, as we said, Ain, not to be confused with Hamza. Za over here, again, um, this is one of our thick letters, if you remember. Um, we had seven thick letters which we looked at at the beginning of the course, so uh, za is one of them. And then we again have got uh, Dhammaten on the uh, Dhammar Buddha and we join it with this Meem Mushaddad, this is complete assimilation, so we do not hear the um, Tanveen at all. Um, we produce a nasal sound with the Meem Mushaddad. And then over here again, we have got a different example of Meem Mushaddad, uh, sorry, of complete assimilation. So we don't hear the Noon Sakin, Mir Rabbikum. Ra again is a thick letter. Um, Rabbi again, we put some stress on that because of the Shadda uh, and the rest is quite simple and straightforward. So um, if I can ask L218, um, if you can select somebody to recite just this part of the verse. L220. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as Would you like to have a go at reciting this? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الناس قد جاءتكم موعظة من ربكم Excellent, Jazakallah. Thank you very much, L220. Um, L218, if you select another person, please. L245. Okay. L245. L245. Yes, Assalamualaikum. Would you like to have a go at reciting this first line over here? Okay, yeah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس قد جاءكم موعظة من ربكم Excellent. Jazakallah. Again, really well recited. Thank you, L245. Let's have one more person. Um, L218, let's have one more person. Uh, L219. Uh, okay. Wa alaikum salam. Could you recite the above? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya ayyuhan nasu qad jaatkum mawizatum min rabbikum Okay. There was just one mistake over here that this za was um, prolonged more than one second. Um, so just because it's fatha, I'm sure you know. Yes. Um, if you recite again from Ja'atkum. Ja'atkum mir rabbikum. That's great, Jazakallah. Thank you very much, L219. Jazakum everyone that recited. That was really um, a very good standard of recitation, mashallah. So let's move on to um, the next part of this verse. So we are looking at, um, from here, from uh, from Wa onwards. So um, again, L218, if you can select um, another person to um, analyze this part of the verse. L241. Assalamu alaikum, L241. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, could you explain what's going on in the next part of the verse, please? Um, uh, uh, from here, Wahudam uh, Barahma. From Washifa. Okay, Washifa Unlima. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, first, uh, for a while, we just uh, prolong it for one second. Yeah. 
and then um, in Shifa uh, there is a um, uh, 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 Kabir. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and uh, for the elongation time for it for, uh, from five to six seconds. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, then uh, the next one is um, uh, there is Tanmin on Hamza. Mm -hmm. And the uh, very next letter there is uh, Lam Mushaddad. So uh, we just uh, uh, pronounce it like Ullima. Excellent. Yep. So we don't hear that then we, when we merge this. Good. Yep. Yeah. And um, then there is the Alif Madda. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. The prolong, uh, prolongation time is two seconds. Yep. Brilliant. Yep. And then there is a um, fee. There is a, a yeah, but uh, the, the very next uh, 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 harkat on the uh, on letter is a uh, Mushadid letter. Mm -hmm. yep. So we just uh, blend it. We just say Fissudu. Okay, brilliant. Yep. And what do we have to remember about the letter sword? Uh, we uh, we uh, press it, and the, there is a thick sound for the sword yeah, letter. Yeah, brilliant. So sword is a thick letter. Um, if we were make, to make a pause over here, um, how would we read this final word? Fisudur. Excellent. Good. So um, Ra will take a sukun here. Brilliant. That's great. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, Elcha, for one. Okay, that was one thank you. Jazakallah. Um, so, um, L, let's quickly go through again, um, just a very quick summary of what she said. So, Wa, as we said, um, very simple, thin letter. Um, Fa over here, as she said, this is Madhya Kabir, um, otherwise known as Madhya Muttasil. Um, we have a Dhamma Ten, so Tanveen of Dhamma appearing on the Hamza over here. So we join it with the La Mushaddad and we don't hear this um, Tanveen. So this will be Washifa Ullima. So the Tanveen should not be heard at all. Um, a little bit of stress on the Lam because it carries the Shadda. Two second uh, elongation on the Meme because this is Alif Madda. Washifa Ullima. And then, um, as she rightly said, we are joining this fa with the kasra stroke with the saad mushaddad over here. And remembering also, saad is one of our thick letters. So we want it to sound different to seen, which is a simpler s sound. This is fissuduri, fissuduri. Um, and if we pause over here, fissudur. Um, this sign over here, this doesn't actually appear in the verse, so this is um, an error, but um these two do appear so if we go back to um over here so we have um at the end of this part we have um lam alif over here and then we have a jim underneath it so um when there are two signs which appear um preference is usually given to the one which is on the top so we have lam alif over here which um means that um you should not stop and start from there. So if a pause is made, um, it's important to go back um, to either the previous word or words um, and recite so that the meaning is complete. Um, so preference is given to the top sign over here. Jim on its own would mean that it's permissible to stop. Um, it's also, um, you're also allowed to continue, so it's up to you. Um, but because we're giving preference to the Lama Lif at the top, um, this means that um, if we make a pause over here, we have to go back um, and then continue reciting. We can't just stop here and then um, carry on reading from there. So again, this is um, explained in more detail in the Tahsin al-Quran book on pages 84 to 85, if anyone's interested in reading about it further. Um, so if we can continue uh, if we first of all go through um, the recitation of this um, verse so l218 again if you can um, select somebody to recite this l2 232 okay um, um, um you can can you recite this part please sure أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وشفاء لما في الصدور. That's brilliant. جزاك الله. Thank you very much. L two three two. Um, can I have someone else, please? L two one eight. L two two eight. Assalamualaikum. وعليكم السلام. Could you please recite the above? 
wa shifa ulima fistudur. Brilliant. Yep, that's great. Jazakallah. Thank you. Um, let's have one more person, please, Al Tonic. Uh, L234. Okay. Assalamualaikum, L234. Walik Sanantullah. Could you please um, recite the part above, please? Yep. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wa shifa'u lima fis Sudur. Excellent, Jazakillah. Very well recited. Thank you, L234. Um, okay, so let's go to the final part um, of this verse that we're looking at. Um, and we are now looking at um, here from Wahudan, Wa Rahmatun, etc. So um, L218, again, if you can select everybody to analyze the final section of the verse. Um, L240. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, would you like to have a go explaining this? Okay. Uh, wow has uh, Tasra. Uh, not Tasra. Sorry, 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 sorry. Patha. Uh, then uh, Dal has Tanween, Zabar, Tanween. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there is the Shad on Wow yep. uh, with Fatha. So we are going to, we will... Uh, uh, join this tanween with this um, wa mushadar yep. uh, like wahudam wara like yep. this brilliant so we want a slight nasal sound when we join yeah, this. yeah. We, we will join and have a nasal sound then uh, there's ha with uh, with um, uh, thin sound rah mat rah like this and then uh, we have uh, Tanween um, uh, Pesh uh, again with at uh, uh, this Rahmatun. Then again we have uh, Mushaddad uh, uh, on la Lam. Then yep. we will again uh, join them. Like wa Rahmatul Lil, like this. But uh, uh, with this we will not have a nasal sound. Okay, yep, brilliant. So we're not going to hear that Tanveen yet. Yeah. And then next time. Will, will pronounce like this. Rahmatullil. Then uh, uh, in on a meme, it's uh, Zamma. Then uh, we have Hamza on Wow and yep. uh, Sakin. Yep. We will pronounce it like Mu. Mu. Yep, brilliant. Like Good then uh, we have again. Um, Kasra uh, uh, and Amin. Then uh, we have Kasra and Hufaya with Noon. We yep. will uh, with, uh, these. Uh, this is called Hufa Madda. We will yep. pronounce it. Uh, pronounce it like Mu'minin. Mu'minin. We will uh, prolong for two seconds. Okay, brilliant. That's great. Um, would you like to have a go at reciting this just from here? Okay. Awuzubillahi uh, minash shaitanir rajim. Wahudam wa rahmatul lil mu'mineen. Brilliant. Jazakallah. Thank you, Ati Fuzir, as well explained. Um, so again, let's go um, very quickly through our list. Um, quite straightforward rules, which I think everyone is now um, hopefully familiar with. So we had wa, which is a, sin, uh, uh, a thin sound, a very simple thin sound. Hudan wa dhan fathatain. So this is the tanveen of fatha. We are joining with wa uh, mushaddad here. So this is what we call partial assimilation. So we partially hear the tanveen sound when we merge this. So this is wa hudan wa. And then ra. Um, not forgetting that this is one of our thick letters, um, especially with a fatha stroke. So rahmatun. Um, ha over here is the slightly sharper than um, this ha over here. Um, so it's important to try to make a difference between those two sounds. Uh, Meme, just basic fatha stroke. Then we have dhammaten or the dhammar buta. And we are joining this with la mushaddad. So this is what we call complete assimilation, which is different to this one. 
which was partial assimilation because here we slightly heard the fathatain here we are not hearing the dhammatain at all when we merge it with the lam shaddad so that's the difference between these two examples of tanveen um, so rahmatul lil mu'mineen um, as she rightly said there's a soft jerk on the hamza because of the sukoon um, and then we have again um, the asli ya madda over here just two seconds meaning um, and when pausing at this verse um, you can either prolong for two seconds or base, based on how you're reciting so if you are um, in full uh, dilavat mode um, then you can prolong um, a little bit longer maybe for four seconds so over here it's written a long e sound um, so you can prolong it a little bit longer um, if you are uh, fully reciting your uh, out loud so um, it depends on how you're reciting at the time. So usually two seconds, but you can extend a little bit longer if you want to. Um, just over here, be mindful that um, we don't want to have any ayn sound come through. So we want it to be different. Um, this is a basic Hamza. Uh, so no ayn should be heard in that. So I hope that's clear. Um, again, really well explained by everyone. Um, who, who's had the opportunity to speak so um if l218 if you can select uh, maybe two more people to uh, have a go at reciting just this part of the verse and then we'll do the whole thing um l225 please that's right l225 would you like to have a go at reciting this yeah, that's fine. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, L225. Um, and one more person, please, L225. Um, L2... L235. Okay, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could you recite the line above, please? Yeah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وهدى ورحمة للمؤمنين. Yeah, that's great. Jazakallah. Thank you. Two, three, five. Okay, brilliant. So, mashallah, really good um, explanations and very good um, standard of recitation as well. So, let's go to. Uh, back to our original verse and let's have a go at reciting this uh, all together so um l218 if you can select somebody to read the whole verse um l219 um, i think l219 has had to go already so just see oh. if you can find somebody um um L two four one B. I think pretty much everyone's been there's Oh I see. Okay. Um let's try L two four one. Asalam alaikum L two four one. Asalam alaikum. Wa alaikum asalam. Have you read oh you've read already, haven't you? Um that's not a problem. Would you like to have a go at reciting the full verse? Uh yes, please. Okay, brilliant. So um in terms of pausing, you can stop here. And then right. go back at Ja'atkum and then make another pause here. Um, this one will be a bit of a long one, um, but see how you manage with that part of the verse. Right, okay, Jazakallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> وشفاء لما في الصدور وهدى ورحمة للمؤمنين. جزاك الله. Um, just one point over here. So um, if you can read from uh, just this section again over here. جاءتكم مؤيز Okay, so over here um, we have attached to the meme mushadad, we have the waulin. So when we, um, this is the soft um, elongation, so we want to read it as So we just want to make that a bit longer. 
So All right. Okay. Uh, shall I read it again? Yes, please, from Jaat. Okay. Jaatkum maui maui zatum mizabikum. Yeah. Do it one more time, please. Jaatkum maui maui zatum mizabikum. Yeah, that's fine. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, LT41. Thank you, Jazakallah. Um, uh, LT18, you can select at random now if you think uh, yeah. most recited. Um, L238 hasn't read. Assalamualaikum, L238. Thank you, sir. Um, would you like to have a go at reading it um, all together? Mm -hmm. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الناس قد جاءتكم موئزة من ربكم من ربكم بشفاء لما في الصدور وهدى ورحمة للمؤمنين Okay, Jazakillah, that's fine. Thank you, O238. Um, let's have this time. Um, O230. Assalamualaikum. Would you like to have a good reading? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum Assalam. I'm sorry, I just run. Where should I start from? Uh, so, over here from Ya Ayyuhan Nasu up until here. أُعِيذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ حَدْ شَاءَكُمْ قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مَوْعِزَةٌ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَشْفِفَاءُ لِمَا فِي الصُّدُورِ وَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Jazakila. The only point that I highlighted was over here um, on the Dal Sakin. Um, just to vibrate that sound a bit more, because it's our Khalqala letter, we want to read it as قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ Yeah. Okay, so if you read... قَدْ Yeah, go on. قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ yeah, that's fine. Jazakillah, L230. Um, obviously, just for the sake of practice, um, we can just pause here because it's quite a long verse. Um, but according to the meaning, the recommended places of pausing are um, if you read up to here and then go back and then pause here read um, and then read the, till the end of the verse if you can manage that um, but obviously because we're focusing on the individual rules um, it's acceptable at this point just to take a breath there if you feel necessary but do try to um, read to the end if you can um, because that's the most meaningful um, way to recite that so l245 would you like to have a go at reading uh, yes thank you أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس قد جاءتكم موئزة من ربكم وشفاء لما في الصدور وهدى ورحمة للمؤمنين. That's brilliant. Jazakallah. Well recited L245. Uh, L218, do you want to have a great reciting this time? Uh, 
Okay. Sorry, where is it from? Uh, from here, it's just from Ya Aisha. Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayyuhan nasu qad ja'atkum mawizatun min rabbikum. Izatun min rabbikum wa shifa'un lima fis suduri wa hudan wa rahmatun lil mu'mineen yeah that's brilliant jazakallah well read l218 okay that's fine so jazakallah uh let's just have one more l224 wanted to have a go at reading assalamualaikum l224 wa alaikum assalam do you like to have a go at reciting the verse yeah A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ya ayyuhan nasu qad qad ja'atkum qad ja'atkum mawizatum mir rabbikum وَشِفَاءٌ لِمَا فِي الصُّدُورِ وَحُدًا وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ So one point over here was that um, because Jim is, um, it's not a thick letter. So when you read it, read it as قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ So rather than جَا, جَاءَتْكُمْ okay. So just read that one one more time. قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ Yeah, that's fine. And the other point was just make the ra over here and also here just a little bit thicker. مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ And here وَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ A little bit thicker. وَرَحْمَةٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ yeah, that's fine. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, L224. So well done, everybody. Really good recitations again. Um, we will go back then. Um, we've got a few more recordings that need to be listened to. Um, if you haven't had it listened to in the lesson, then we will, inshallah, send you some feedback um, via email. Um, so if I just take out the recording, um, and this time again, um, I will ask somebody else to do the feedback. Um, rather than me giving the feedback and we'll see how we um, mark each other. So we are looking at L231 at the moment. I'm just going to see the best way to do this. Um, okay, so I might have to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so page 256. Um, and again, I believe this is from the first ruku. Um, so do I have a volunteer who would like to have a go at marking this recitation? Okay, L245, you'd like to have, uh, let's try someone else actually. L220, um, okay, L220, would, I'm going to start playing. Um, I'll try to stop it. Um, so that we just look at small amounts at a time. And if you think there's any point that needs to be highlighted or corrected, um, then please let me know, okay? Okay. Okay. Just write down ID. So is there anything so far that you wanted to um, highlight or anything? 
uh, yes, uh, she prolonged na and then na more than two seconds. Okay, let me go back one second. Okay, so maybe a bit more of a strong gunna yeah. there, okay. So Lito Khrijanasa, okay, that's fine. Lito Khrijanasa minas sulumati ilan nur. Was that okay or anything? I think it's okay, maybe mom, little bit more, but I, I didn't catch any. Uh, anything else? Uh, do you mean the timing on the meme? Mm, I, I think. Okay. Um, let me just play that again. I think that's okay. Maybe in recitation, sometimes in tune it can be perhaps a little bit long, but I think that was acceptable. That was an okay. Um, right. Because the uh, same, uh, same here. Yeah. So you think it's a little bit more than um, yeah. two seconds, yeah? Okay, so vertical fatha, we want to remember that it's um, no more than two seconds. That's fine. Um, okay, let's carry on to the end of the verse. <laughs> Yes, him. Sorry, what did you say? Yes. Don't prolong him because there is not bow or meme. This yeah. is his so, not ikfa. Yeah, brilliant. So um, again, if if it's followed by ba, then yes, we'll prolong uh, yes. for two seconds, but um, there is no need here to prolong the meme sakin. Um, so that's just to be read as bi izni rabbihim ila. Let's slightly rewind. And uh, ta song is not uh, thick. Okay, so you want a little bit more prominence. Siratil Aziz Al Hamid. Okay, that's fine. Jazakillah L220. Um, let's have somebody else have a go. Um, L218, would you like to select somebody else um, to have a go at marking this? L218, are you there? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, so could you um, give the mic to somebody else who'd like to maybe have a go at marking? Um, L246. L246, that's on the go. Waalaikum salam. Would you like to carry on from, uh, from here? Let me just go back. So from here, um, and I'll play the recording. Stop it. Um, so let's start. Do you think that was okay? Was there any points um, that you'd like to raise? Yeah, it was okay. Okay, that's fine. So I think the gaff was a little bit too long. Um, I think, again, in the tune, it can be prolonged a little bit too much. Um, so just being mindful of the timing on vertical fatha, um, because then we don't want to start confusing that with um, our madde sagheer, which is from three to five seconds. So maybe just a little bit um, shorter time on the vertical fatha. <laughs> I don't know, uh, LT46, did you say anything about
about that part of the verse? Um, um, I think I heard the noon, but I'm not sure. Um, so do you think there was too much time on the horn over here? I think like a hunna sound, but I'm not sure because I heard it once. Let me read a bit. So I think, I think it's okay. Yeah. I think maybe just a um, tiny bit shorter on the moon sakin because it is um, followed by the ayn. I'm just going to mute you for one second because of the background noise. Um, because it's followed by Ayn, we don't want to make any um, extra elongation on this Noon Sakin. Um, so just very simply, Min Arvabin. Um, and then here, um, we want to have a, a nasal sound, a slight nasal sound when we join this, because this Tanveen of Kasra is followed by the letter Sheen. So again, if we go back to our favourite list, um, we have our letters, our six letters at the top, um, which we, uh, these are the rules of his heart. So we read the noon or the Tanveen in a clear way when they're followed by these letters. If they're followed by any of the letters in the second table, then we produce that light nasal sound. So you can see over here, we have the Kasra Ten, double, the double stroke of uh, Kasra here, and it's followed by the letter Sheen which is in our second table. So we produce this light nasal sound. Um, so shadid, slight nasal sound um, when we uh, read this then we... Okay. Um, okay, Jazakila L246. Um, can I have someone else please, L218? Um, L217. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum, L217. Um, oh, I don't, I can't see. Uh, I don't think there's an L217. Oh, sorry, L237. Um, for whatever reason, there's no microphone icon next to L237. So um, I'm going to give the mic to, oh, I think we have CA441. Um, Asana Gorm, could you just let me know what your Lajna uh, class ID is, CA441? Asana Walaikum well, Um, Could you just confirm your Lajna ID, please? I'm L222. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Um, would you like to have a go at marking the recitation? Um, I can try. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, can I just so do a small portion, please? Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, this is the next verse, but I'll try and stop it um, quickly. <laughs> Is that okay? Anything that you want to point out over here? So it's up to here. I think the day and the harsh is prolonged a bit. Um, she didn't do it one second. Which one was that, sorry? The day and the heart. So yastahibu. Yastahibu. Okay, let's go back. I think it was okay. Um, do you mean that it was too long or not long enough? No, I think it's too long. Okay. Or oh, is that is that acceptable? I to... think it's okay because um, it's just. Let me try and listen back to it. Because she's doing it with Gilead. Oh, Okay, I think it was okay. uh, an, an okay length. Let's carry on. So 
So over here, um, Ahira. I, Ahira. Uh, I think it could have been thicker. Let me just check the length again. Okay, I think the um, the timing was okay on the raw, um, but what's happened over here, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a break in breath over here. Um, and also on the lam sakin, um, again, we don't want to put any time on there just because we're joining very quickly with uh, the lam, with the lam sakin, again, in tune, sometimes we put a little bit too more, uh, too much emphasis um, on the letter. Okay, so the breath was actually in the middle of the word. Um, so we want yeah, to make sure yeah, exactly. So we want to make sure that um, if even if the breath does break, um, at least try to read that um, the word that you're on completely. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Jazakallah. Thank you, CA441. Um, let's just get to the end of the verse and then we'll conclude the class. <laughs> So again, um, over here we were saying about um, giving time to the uh, meme sakin when it's followed by ba. So over here, this has been an example where we do um, give extra time. Um, we have the kasra then on the lam, um, but we, if you can see the small meme just above there, that means that we're not going to read the, the kasra then. We're going to hear the meme sound instead. So this will be dhalalim ba'id. So we pause slightly uh, because the meme sound is followed by the ba. Uh, so this will be fear Um So Jazakallah for that recording. Um, we will inshallah continue that in our lesson um, next week, which is going to be our final session. Um, so inshallah, I will see you all um, next week. Before we conclude, um, I'm just going to ask L2 um, for one, if you can read our concluding prayer. Shall I start? Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay. Allahumma Allahumma And the translation, please. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. And make it for me the leader, the light, the guardians, and the mercy. There was just one point over here. Um, the timing on the meme was a bit too long. Um, so again, because it's not, not followed by Ba, we don't want to give more than just one second. So just okay. Allahumma rahamni. All right. Okay. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Jazakallah, yeah. everyone. Really good um, contributions for everyone, from everyone. Um, so, inshallah, see you next week, which is our final session um, next Wednesday. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.